this clip we weren't able to get to yesterday is pretty remarkable. Idaho local reporter named Brian Holmes uh, was able to get this rarefied, uninterrupted time with a politician. You do not see this on the national level um, where it's a lot more of a transactional relationship. Marjorie Taylor Greene got a ton of press for going to Nick Fuentes' America First PAC conference, um, which was happening in Florida at the same time as CPAC, I believe. So there was some crossover. And the further right you are, you, there were some maybe at least loose ties to Nick Fuentes' conference. Now, it's a white nationalist conference. Um obviously there you're going to get some blowback for appearing or associating with someone like Nick Fuentes. And this is a very high up Idaho politician um, who appeared or made an appearance and might've been pre-recorded uh, at Fuentes's pack. We can confirm that in a bit. Um, but here she is being questioned by Idaho local reporter, Brian Holmes. Uh, her name is Janice McGeechan, and she is the Idaho lieutenant governor. So no small position there. The, just not being able to really get away from this interview because Brian Holmes does not let up in asking her about appearing at a white nationalist conference. Are you familiar with who puts this event on? Like Nick Fuentes? I don't, I don't know who he is. I don't, <laughs> I've never met him. I don't know who he is. Did you not look into it before you decided to say, okay, like to find out, I mean, his name is on it. Well, you know what, Nick Fuentes, I don't, as I said, I don't know him. I do, he, he's never, I've never met him. I don't know, you know, what, what is, what he's, everything that he says or doesn't say is not. I may have spoken at the Nick Fuentes conference for uh, being a big right winger, but I don't know who this guy is. Uh, 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 Fuentes? Uh, does not reflect on who I am or who the it thousands might. of others that are participating in this movement. Okay. You didn't bother to look up his name or anything? I didn't say that. You, you did look him up. Wait, hold on, pause it. She, 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 she said that. She says she doesn't know who she is. But let's go back, right? Let's uh, roll the tape. Because pretty sure she says that she didn't know who he was, right? Because, you know, there's certain folks that you don't need to actually meet them. Uh, you can actually learn about them online and make a judgment from there. Yeah, but she's saying that she doesn't know who he was. So uh, he then asks, did you Google him or look him up? So maybe she just Googled his name and didn't click on anything or put on sunglasses so she was unable to really read her computer screen. Maybe that's part of what happened. Well, you know what? Nick Fuentes, I don't, as I said, I don't know him. I do, he, he's never, I've never met him. I don't know, you know, what, what is what he's everything that he says or doesn't say is not uh, does not reflect on who I am or who the thousands of others that are participating in this movement. You didn't bother to look up movement. his name or anything. I didn't say that. You, hmm. you did look him up. You, you, you didn't. That's not the question that you. Asked. <laughs> did you look up who Nick Fuentes was and what he, he what he's talked about, like what he, things he has said? I have since. Since <laughs> last week, not before? Yes. Okay, I guess the question is, because you, if you've said, well, I'm only Again, here it's because- not fair. You, I mean, you, the mainstream media, every, you do this to conservatives all the time, but you don't do it to yourself. That every time, any time mm. there's any kind of affiliation with anybody at any time on any stage that we're all guilty by association. Pause it. How about name those associations? Like you. Go on, trot out your like it's psycho antifa conspiracy. Theories, yeah, right, right, exactly. I mean, Nick Fuentes uh, is a unite the right guy, Charlottesville guy. Uh, regularly says the n word for fun. Here's that kind of dude. Here's just a sentiment uh, uh, repasted from the Anti Defamation League, where Nicholas J. Fuentes said, "What's really important to understand is that the crisis in race relations in the country basically amounts to black failure. And how do we uh, explain the continued disparity in just about every measure? He's basically a Charles Murray guy. Yeah, um, uh, IQ." Belker guy. So uh, yeah, he's a big time uh, white uh, white nationalist Nazi. And uh, you know, if I had affiliations that were as troubling, uh, I'd welcome conservatives to make me answer for those. Yeah. Uh, and uh, just like as we are making her, <laughs> look at how shifty she looks. Well, I mean, like let's <laughs> let's see. See, she's about to uh, go off on the mainstream media and their hypocrisy. Let's see if she can come up with a with a counterexample. Maybe Matt uh, that that will will 
satisfy you. The Lugan press. Here. Yeah. With anybody at any time on any stage that we're all guilty by association and it's not it's not appropriate. But it, the association is, is not a good one to be associated with people who are anti-Semitic. It's not just associated with people, it's conferencing with them. Yes. But <laughs> stop, stop. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. You asked me why I was there, okay. why I wanted to participate and speak to these young conservatives. That's, that's what we're talking about right now. White nationalists. Okay. Uh, Vincent James was also there. Correct? Do you know who Vincent James is? I, I've, I've heard of him. You've had your picture taken with him? I did have my picture taken with him. Okay. Do you know what he stands for and things that he has said? No, I don't know all the things that he or anybody else. And again, I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing that this guilt by association that the media tries to do with conservatives and conservatives only is that if we ever have met somebody once or took a picture with them or ever shared a stage with somebody ever, ever, uh, we're all guilty by association. Do we remember the Jeremiah Wright thing with Obama? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing, right? Acorn. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, but like the Jeremiah Wright thing is such a good, such a good point because that like, you know, the, the, the that's uh, they went to town on that. And that's way more analogous. But like she literally just spoke at this conference. We, we they acted like Obama was like programmed by Jeremiah Wright to take down <laughs> the American Empire. Yeah, exactly. He hates America. Listen to Jeremiah Wright. All right. Um, if you want to know why I went there and why what my message was, yes. go go watch my video. I, I did watch your video, and if you so had that's known, what it was all about. If you had known who Nick Fuentes and, is, would you have said yes? Well, again, this 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 is a woman who wants to continue appealing to Nazis, but not be seen publicly as appealing to Nazis. Yes. This movement is so much bigger than one individual. Who cares what Nick Fuentes has to say? Who cares? There's thousands and thousands you do, of apparently. young conservatives all across the country that are very... Yeah, a lot of uh, quote-unquote young conservatives want to hear what this Nazi has to say. Very concerned and about what's happening to our country. We are fighting for the soul of our nation with these wide open borders. It's only a matter of time that America, we lose who we are as a free country. And a white demographic. And so and I'm not going to run away. I'm not going to hide from being being willing and wanting to go talk to young conservatives, conservatives. about these issues. If you say nobody cares what Nick Fuentes says, but people care that you're associated with them or that you share a stage with them. Again, like you're trying to you're trying to do this guilt by association over and over and over again, and it needs to stop. Because if you want to know who I am and why I went there, I've told you that. And you know, my don't assassinate me or my character over don't assassinate me or my characters. <laughs> the first que the don't. first request, I think, is fair. Don't assassinate me. I, 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 I had no intention. Man. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, you know, I think she's doing a good job without herself. Yeah. I, we, I mean, she eventually she suicided takes, your character. She eventually <laughs> takes off her mic. Uh, and this is the, the point that we have to get to. Again, this is such a treat to have a reporter have like this complete uninterrupted questioning of a crazy Republican like this. Keep going. Over something that any individual that I may ever have met in my life, if there are things that, that are said or that they believe in, then that's that person. That's not me. But that's so, not the first time. My point okay. of bringing up Vincent James, there you go. right? I mean, yeah, that's not the first time you've been associated with the, with this group. Interview's over. I would, Hmm. So uh, this is Vincent James. Vincent, he goes by Vincent James Fox, a 31 year old video blogger and live streamer with a fondness for white supremacist, radical right wing politics. That was the person who she was photographed with. Fox, the father of three, who runs a growing media operation called the Red Elephants, has become RM's unofficial propagandist after the blah, blah, blah. Basically, he's just he's a right winger. Uh, yeah. ProPublica was writing about that. I have I, I, uh, I very happy with that journalist performance there. But there is one note I would make. and which I think like you got to not go with the um, so much about the proper nouns of these guys, but say a person who says this, yes. a person who believes this, because 
like you can't expect i don't i don't know who that second guy is i've i don't know i've heard of nick fuentes but i don't know who the other guy is and you need to just put out like do you agree with what they say about this right about black people about you this know this person who you were photographed with exactly yeah. and then they can say uh no that's bad or because she doesn't want to say that because yeah. she actually still is appealing to those folks the uh, young conservatives that she talks exactly. about exactly yeah and you need to put her on what make her own it or make her not but this way she's still able to skirt around it a little bit and another question i would ask would be why do you believe that these young conservatives want to hear nick fuentes speak yeah do you think that's also, good or bad and also hear you speak is there a uh an overlap there that i don't know maybe you want to reckon with but either way i mean really well done and again like local reporters uh, the, the, it's a very different dynamic um with with the state governments there but i think it sheds light on how how theatrical and silly so many of our national political interviews are um because that's the kind of questioning of the the our elected officials that is supposed to be commonplace no longer yeah and they're going to continue appealing to these folks like uh, I like this has only gotten worse since my um, sort of professional involvement in watching this stuff on a day to day basis for the like, last like, six years. They tried to like stop the Steve King stuff, but this is just too important of an energy source for their sort of <laughs> electoral politics. And they can't be seen saying I uh, I condemn Nick Fuentes and that sort of like white nationalism shit.